Welcome to 7.3. Students today work with evaluating expressions. We also work with order of operations. As a quick review of order of operations, we use our parentheses first, then we do exponents, then we divide left to right, and then we subtract left to right. So a quick reminder, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, remembering, reminding yourself that you do multiplication and division, addition and subtraction together, but from left to right. All right, looking at example one, to solve this expression, I've got t plus 18 divided by 5 with t equals 17. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in this t value, which I already know. So I'm going to write 17 plus 18, all in parentheses, divided by 5. What I'm going to do first is I'm going to go ahead and do my parentheses. So I'm going to go ahead and carrot these down. I'm going to take 17 plus 18, which is going to give me 15, for an answer of 35. Now I'm not finished because I need to go ahead and divide by 5. Some students might say this is a fact family. 35 divided by 5 is 7. Or some students may need to go ahead and write it out. 35 and 5, which would then give me 7. So our answer is 7 in this case. Just remembering to go ahead and always work with your parentheses first and then go what's out of the parentheses next. All right, example two has students reading and thinking about ways to solve and write an equation. So it says Jojo has two thirds as many blocks as Brucey. If Brucey has B blocks, how many blocks does Jojo have? Write, write an equation. So I know Jojo has two thirds as many as Brucey, and Brucey has B. So I'm gonna go ahead and write this equation right now, which is going to be two thirds as many is going to tell me to go ahead and multiply by B. Now if we go on to the second part of the question, it says if Brucey has 27 blocks, how many does Jojo have? Well, reminding myself that Jojo has two thirds as many, which means that he should have fewer than Brucey, and Brucey has 27. I'm going to go ahead and plug in 27 here for my B. So I'm going to take two thirds times 27. I'm going to make that a fraction over 1. Now some students may see that you can go ahead and cross reduce here with threes. That's great if they do. If they don't, they can just go ahead and multiply straight across 2 times 27. I'm going to go ahead and write that down. 27 times 2, which is going to give me 14. 2 times 2 is 4, plus 1 more is 5. So I've got 54 on the top of my fraction in my numerator. And then 3 times 1 is 3 in my denominator. A lot of students will recognize this as an improper fraction, which means we need to go ahead and divide. 54 divided by 3. When I go ahead and solve this, 54 divided by 3, I'm going to go ahead and erase that a little bit, make it a little bit smaller. Can 3 go into 5? It can go in there one time. 1 times 3 is 3. I've got 2 left over. Bring down my 4. Can 3 go into 24? It can go in there 18 times. 3 times 8 is 4 times for a final answer of 18. Now it says how many blocks does Jojo have? Well he has 18 blocks. Now to go back to my problem make sure that my answer makes sense, I need to think about he's going to have fewer blocks than Brucey because Brucey has 27. So does my answer seem reasonable? It does seem reasonable. So Jojo has 18 blocks. If you have any questions about 7.3, make sure you see your math teacher.